Monday Minute, where we share tips and tricks on how to make your experience with Sensource's people counting system the best that it can be. Does your people counter look like this? Then it may be time to uncover what an upgraded system can do for you. We know there's interest out there still for older style people counting sensors because they are low cost and generally low maintenance. In the early 2000s, this was the standard technology. You would have a transmitter and a receiver unit mounted to either side of an entryway and it would increment a count every time the invisible beam was broken. Then you would check the numbers on the display unit and record your traffic in a spreadsheet for the day. But there are three main problems that brake beam sensors have that more modern technologies overcome, which are accuracy, consistency, and automation. Modern people counting sensors, like the ones we sell today, use stereo vision technology with machine learning. So they not only count people, but they distinguish them from other objects and this leads to 97% or greater accuracy that can also be validated. Brake beam style sensors are sufficient for a general idea of your traffic flow, but aren't accurate enough to be basing any sort of important business decision on. Accuracy and consistency go hand in hand. When using a brake beam style sensor, you're going to over and under count throughout the day. So say a group walks into your building, the sensor is only going to break that beam once and increment a single count. And if you have someone pacing back and forth, maybe talking on their phone, it's going to count multiple counts for that same person because the beam is being broken multiple times. Intelligent sensors don't have this type of consistency issue. The algorithms are designed to detect a person and hold that track throughout the viewing area and then increment a count accordingly. The final pain point we'll discuss today with older technologies is the lack of automation. So every time you go over to the sensor and manually write down the numbers, input it in a spreadsheet and reset the sensor, those are increased opportunities for error. Modern systems operate over a network connection so this automates the process of transmitting data as well as reporting. I hope you found this information useful in your search for a people counter or in your decision to upgrade your existing system. If you'd like more information, you can visit our website at sensorsync.com. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any upcoming tips and tricks from Sensource. Thanks for watching.